you must consult the user manual for the full contraindication list prior to treatment. This video does not replace training led by an authorized specialist. Always read the user manual prior to using the BTL Vanquish Me device. Ask the patient to remove all jewelry prior to treatment. The patient must wear comfortable clothing with no metal parts, like zippers and bra wires, etc. Single-use underwear is preferred. Make sure no clothes cover the treated area. The patient must not use any personal electronics during treatment. Position the device near the low section of the treatment bed, as demonstrated. Pay attention to the device orientation towards the bed. Try to optimize the cable distance between patient and treatment bed. Choose a low treatment bed or set it to the lowest possible position if the bed is adjustable. Position the patient in a semi-laying position, in a very open V-shape. If your treatment bed does not allow for a semi-laying position, bolster the patient's legs in order to relax the abdominal muscles and lumbar spine. Bolster the target tissue in order to keep a compact subcutaneous fat pad and to position it in the center of the active RF field. Unscrew all three plastic arm knobs and place the applicator on the area to be treated. At the moment, it can touch the skin. Precisely adjust the applicator position in order to place it symmetrically over the treated area. Check for perfect positioning before continuing the process. First, fix the knob closest to the device, then the one closest to the applicator. Lift the applicator approximately 25 mm above the skin and fix the middle plastic knob. When released, the core applicator should be hovering approximately 10 mm above the skin. Recheck perfect applicator positioning symmetrically over the treated area before continuing the process. Adjust the arm more precisely. If the distance from the skin is not 10 mm until desired distance is reached, the applicator should never touch the skin during treatment. Instruct the patient to position her or his hands onto their chest. Check the elbow applicator distance. It should not be closer than 2 inches. Adjust the cable holder and splitters in order to maximize cable patient, cable device, and cable treatment bed distance. A minimum of 5 cm, approximately 2 inches, distance between cables is recommended. Check the skin temperature of the area to be treated before starting the therapy. Start the treatments by pressing the start button and dialing up the energy. Maximum desired energy should be selected at the beginning of the treatment. Parameters should be set according to the BTL clinical guide. Instruct the patient to inform you about the level of heat they experience and report if they feel any hot spots, spots where the heat gets more concentrated immediately. Always move the angle of the applicator away from the hot spots immediately. Do not forget to check the level of tuning. Move the applicator back to the original distance from the skin when the hot spot dissolves. Do not forget to check the level of tuning. BTL Vanquish treatment should never be uncomfortable or painful. Be ready to perform multiple applicator adjustments during the treatment. Dial down the power if the power indicates that the whole treatment area is too hot. By default, there are two preset automatic treatment pauses. Quickly check the skin temperature and for sweat reactions during the automatic treatment break. The skin must be dry and any sweat must be wiped off the skin 
and applicator surface immediately. Skin temperature should ideally be between 39 to 42 degrees Celsius in the warmest areas of the treated zone. Remember, skin temperature drops down within seconds due to body thermoregulation activity. Try to manage the check as fast as possible in order to minimize the loss of therapeutic temperature. Restart the treatments by pressing the start button and dialing up the energy back to the desired level. Recheck perfect applicator positioning before continuing the process. Do not forget to check the level of tuning. The skin should reach therapeutic temperature after 10 to 15 minutes of treatment time, typically 39 to 42 degrees Celsius. Skin temperature often decreases in the last 10 to 15 minutes of the treatment due to a systematic body protection reaction. Pause the treatment shortly and check the skin temperature if the hot spot does not settle. Skin temperature should not exceed 43 degrees Celsius. Use a cooling pad if the temperature exceeds 43 degrees Celsius, or the skin is dramatically irritated, or the patient refers to a burning sensation. Skin erythema is a normal skin reaction. You can continue the treatment when overheated skin is cooled back to normal treatment temperature. Check the treated area condition and temperature after treatment time is up. The treated area typically shows strong erythema. Patients may feel a warmth and or have a tendency to sweat in the last 10 to 15 minutes of treatment. This is a positive sign of effective BTL Vanquish Me treatment. Following are some common mistakes that may have an impact on therapy efficacy. The applicator is too close to the skin or even touching the skin. The applicator is too far from the treated area. The applicator is placed too asymmetrically for even treatment. Applicator wings are too open. Energy cannot selectively heat the target tissue. Cable touching the patient. Cable touching the bed. The cable splitter attached in a wrong direction. Cable splitter is positioned too far from the applicator, not splitting cables enough to ensure maximum treatment efficacy. Cables must never be crossed during treatment. Never touch the applicator and patient at the same time during the treatment. The patient's arm is too close to the applicator. Never let the patient touch the applicator during the treatment. This screen demonstrates multiple mistakes. The most important ones are Wrong positioning. Device is too close to the patient. Cable touching the patient and the applicator. Cable holder not positioned properly. Cables touching the bed. Cable splitter too far from the applicator. Applicator too far from the treated areas. Applicator not symmetrically positioned over treated area.